just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of and to serve have made a tremendous impact in the lives of men and women reintegrating back into our society. My hope for America is that formerly incarcerated people will be afforded the opportunity to take advantage of the fact that we live in a nation of second chances. My hope for America is that law enforcement and people in the communities across our country can come together and realize that as Americans, we have more in common than we have differences. My hope for our great nation is to continue on this path we are on of being the most prosperous country in the world. I'm so proud of John with his life's turnaround and for all the lives that he's helped to change. It may be hard to believe that as a retired FBI agent, one of my best friends is a person I arrested for bank robbery. When I met John 15 years ago, he was angry, scared, frustrated, and anxious about his future. On the drive to prison, I stopped at a convenience store and bought John a coffee and a donut. He was sentenced. John sent me a necktie and a note thanking me for treating him like a gentleman. Five years later, when he got out of prison, John called me and wanted to meet for lunch. He was a different man. He talked about starting a re-entry program for men and women coming out of prison. Over time, John earned the trust and respect of the law enforcement community, many of whom volunteer in John's Hope for Prisoners program. I'm grateful for President Trump's commitment to criminal justice reform. On February 20th of this year, he was the guest speaker at the Hope for Prisoners graduation. He stayed Now, John, your best friend now, huh? Yet you wouldn't get John, after you arrested John, you wouldn't get him some donuts and shit. And now y'all best friends after 15 years. You know, the stuff that they come up with during the election time, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I'm for Trump. I ain't saying I'm for Biden either. But I'm just saying, the shit that I see, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the shit that I see. That's it. All of a sudden, now he's walking and shaking hands with all these motherfucking jailbirds. If y'all don't cut this shit out. We're then scheduled to hand out diplomas to the 29 men and women who graduated that day.